everybody. Welcome to my office, as you can see behind me. Um, I'll run through the equipment. Uh, basic kit is a spawn kit, and it's a recording series, which is uh, bird shells. Uh, kick drums 24 by 18, and small tom is 10 by 8, 12 by 8, and then I've got a 16 by 14 floor tom there. Um, snare drum is about a mid 80s hand hammered steel shell Ludwig, uh, which is great drum, works well for me. All the heads are Aquarian, um, and fabulous heads as well. Uh, that's on the kick and on everything. Symbols you can see. Again, all peisty. Um, sizes are as far as we've got a 16, 17, and 18 medium crashes up there. Uh, a 16 inch china up there. 12 inch splash there. 10 inch splash there. A little 8 inch bell symbol there. Uh, the hi hats, 13 inch darks there. 14 inch darks on there. And finally, uh, a, a, a 20 inch dark crash ride, uh, which they don't make anymore. Um, mics, we've got uh, 52 on the kick drum. On the snare top and bottom we've got Shure 57s. On the two rack toms we've got uh, a couple of uh, Bayer 420s and on the floor tom a Bayer 201. My vocal mic is a Crown uh, C311A uh, headset mic which has been sort of adapted um, with these Vic Firth ear defenders so that I can actually stop myself being deafened and also hear the click back from the stuff in the rack. The rack I've got uh, in there a Tascam uh, mini disc player and the Clark Technique um, graphic single channel and a Garwood wired, hardwired um, in-ear monitor system Basically, I get a monitor signal from the desk, goes through the graphic, which I tailor to what I want, and then obviously comes out the garboard with uh, Shure E2 in-ears, with these things over my ears, so that helps me hear it a lot clearer, and also stops a lot of the real bad volume and noise behind the kit. As far as the mini disc is concerned, we, we use the mini disc in stereo, one side of which is split uh, for the click, which comes back to me. And the other side is either music, padded keyboards, percussion, stuff like that, uh, used mainly on the ZZ Top stuff that we do. Um, that's about it, really. Big first sticks. Let me just uh, elaborate on what we call a click. A click is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, 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 basically a metronomic click track that is on the disc and all the keyboards or percussion or whatever is put on in sync, in sync, in sync with that um, and that means then that I have the click coming in there I play along with the click and the guys play along with me which enables us to have different keyboards, percussion, even some strings you know like orchestral type stuff on there which just makes the band sound bigger um, and obviously the click rules everything so we have to really keep with that and try and make the thing feel right as well which when you're playing with a click is not always easy so that's what the click track is okay pedals um, hi-hat and bass drum double pedal all drum workshop 5000 series great pedals uh, had them for about eight years now just take them apart once a year clean them lubricate them they're absolutely fine um, Probably some of the more astute players amongst you will have noticed that I play bass drum with the left foot. And the reason I do that is that about 11 years ago, I uh, developed a repetitive strain injury in my right leg, which, although didn't hurt me, just didn't get any better and just had no control over what I was playing with my right foot. And so the only option was to play left foot lead or give up. So um, there you go, that's the reason. And uh, I get away with it. Um, that's basically the kit. Thanks for your time. Cheers. <laughs>